This video is about recognizing some differences when it comes to exponents and kind of helping you to kind of bridge the way into simplifying monomials. Now, a lot of people think that these two are the same, or at least maybe, at least that's what ends up being on their paper. So I'm going to just kind of briefly show you why they are different. The first problem simplifies to, if I wrote it out like in an expanded form, showing all the pieces, this is 6 times x squared. So 6 times x squared, which is 6 times x squared. On the other side, this is the quantity 6x squared, meaning this means 6x times 6x. If we simplify both sides, this just goes back to that 6x squared, 6x squared. This side over here, we can pull the numbers together through the commutative property it allows us to kind of switch the order around the multiplication. 6 times 6 is 36, x times x, x squared. So these are not equal. And one kind of question to kind of keep in mind when you're dealing with exponents is ask, asking yourself the question, what number or variable or combination goes with the exponent? So in this case, the only thing that's going with the exponent is the x. So only the x has this exponent. In this case, the exponent is has a whole group with it. So both the 6 and the x together are being squared. So they're both being multiplied by the, by by itself. Hence, you get a different answer. Subtle difference, but important. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to take out a piece of paper. <laughs> you didn't know you were going to have to do math, did you? I know, it's so easy to see this and go, yeah, 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 I follow it. But the reality is you need to be able to do it on your paper. It's great that you can follow what I'm doing on the whiteboard, but it's on my paper over here, not on yours. So hit the pause button, get out a piece of paper, I'm going to put a couple problems up, and I want you to do them, and then I'm going to explain them to you. So, um, is just write things in expanded form. So we can kind of just see what do we really have. Um, so you've written these down. <laughs> um, I'll do the first one with you, and then I want you to do the next two with the pause button hit. Promise? OK. So what I'm looking for is I'm asking you to write it in expanded notation. Okay, expand. That's the whole thing out there. So what I would be looking for is something like this means x, so, sorry, 7 times x times y squared. y squared meaning y times y. So the only thing that's getting the squared is the y. So now you're going to hit the pause button, and you're going to do those two, what they look like in expanded form. So... Okay, we're back now. Thanks for doing this problem. I know it's up and above the call of duty. <laughs> but it'll help. Promise. Well, I hope, at least. <laughs> you do enough of the videos, I'm sure it'll be fabulous to help break. So the next one, everything is getting that square. So in this case, it's 7xy times itself. So in this case, if we were to go back and we were to simplify it, kind of bring it back to a condensed form, you would end up getting 7 times 7, 49, x times x, x squared, y times y, y squared. 
So in this case, everything inside of the parentheses is getting the square root. When you get to algebra, or maybe you're taking algebra already, but it's like when there's a plus sign in there, the rules change. So be careful. This is just a monomial, one term. When you get a plus sign in there, you get a binomial or beyond, and the rules become a little bit more difficult. Um, actually, they're not more difficult, they're just different. So be mindful, this is no plus sign, this is a monomial being squared. Okay, this example here, in expanded form, eight times x squared times y. So that's the only thing that's getting squared is the x. The 8 has nothing to do with that. 